Hey up and welcome to Callum's Corner. Welcome back to the vlogs. Now, I'm sorry that I haven't been able to vlog for a little while. It's been very complicated. Uh, recently, unfortunately, people dox my address and I've been dealing with an endless supply of takeaways, uh, Lithuanian sex workers and all manner of stuff being sent to my address. Um, I will make a video kind of explaining all that eventually, but um, I think it's almost resolved now. So the vlogs are coming back and I'm so excited about this. Uh, it is Sunday. Uh, the charity shield, the community shield is today. The football's coming back. Um, yeah, it's just an all round good day. So I'm going to start it off with a trip to the pub, um, a, a rogs dinner, and maybe a pint or two. Um, I feel like I want to get out of my house. Um, some of you may remember, I have a mental, mental, chicken oriental neighbour who lives behind me. Um, now, my mum woke me up today very excitedly, telling me I've got to come and look out in the garden, right? Went out there and spoke to the neighbour who lives next to me, um, and they have had another run-in with this neighbour. Their kids were out in the garden yesterday, and apparently it set her right off because this morning they've woken up to like loads of broken Christmas baubles that have been chucked into their garden. Um, and we know it's her because she's got history of it. Previously, she's been chucking used tampons into their garden. Previously, she's been going under the fence and coming into my garden. She actually got into my kitchen and stole knives. Um, and previously, as a kind of crowning glory, she has actually scotted into my neighbor's garden and pooped on their back doorstep. Um, that actually will result in the police being called, and she seemed to calm down since then. Uh, but she has been cycling up this last week or so. I've heard a lot of shouting uh, from her. Today, she's been in her garden three times and just screamed the words, F off. Um, don't know whether it's directed at anyone particularly, but it does sound angry um, and it does sound urgent. So we will be keeping a close eye on that. Um, but yeah, first, as I say, I'm going to go and get myself a rogues dinner because first proper football is coming back today um, and there's no better way to start a Sunday than with a lovely roast dinner. Fill your belly with meat. It's probably one of the best things you can do to set yourself up. But right, I'm back home again. Uh, roast dinner has been consumed. Let me give you a little picture of it. Yeah, I would give that a 9 out of 10. Um, roast pork belly is one of my personal favourites. I didn't vlog my trip to the pub just because I thought, you know what, this is sacred man time. Something has got to be sacred. It's got to be special. And a Sunday trip to to the pub, to have a roast dinner, reading the Sunday papers, the football news, having a pint, you know, that special time. Um, so I'm back home again now. The She's all quiet at the moment, actually, which is quite good. Hopefully I'll be able to just enjoy the afternoon, although if anything does kick off, obviously I'll be bringing you it live. Um, but there's something that's on my mind I wanted to tell you about. I have restarted my second channel. Um, while I can't always vlog and stuff, because there's not always stuff happening in my life, um, a lot of you do seem to want more regular content and reaction videos and stuff. Um, I don't want to clog up this main channel with that kind of stuff. This is more about my experiences, my thoughts, my, my feelings and stuff, and my, my lessons for you. Um, so I've reopened the second channel for reaction videos, Reddit videos, internet -y stuff. Uh, it's called Callum Does the Internet, and I've uploaded my first video onto it. I will link it in the description. It is uh, the long-requested reaction to Hair Cake. Oh, that was horrible. Um, ugh. But yeah, it's up there if you want it. And I will be uploading in the next day or so with a, a video about YouTubers' adverts that they've done. Um, some of them are a right bag of arse. So yeah, if you want to get involved, it's over there. And also, I am now involved in a Discord. Uh, I've always had a server, but I wasn't previously active on it. Uh, that's all changed. I'm now very much using the server as kind of a safe community place where spasmoids can't be torturing with me and takeaways and sex workers and stuff. So if you are interested, I will link that as well. I've been doing a fair few little voice updates on there, transfer updates, uh, Q&As and stuff. So yeah, it's a great place. You should really get involved. But I am going to top it off with a little nap now, um, having consumed a couple of pints with my lunch and a lot of meat. Um, it's Yeah, it's time just to have a snooze on the sofa, um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. All right, no, that's not happening. That's not going to be allowed to happen. I mean, why would it be? You know, there's nothing sacred anymore. Surely a post rock Sunday afternoon nap should be protected as like a, a sacred thing. But no, my mum is buzzing in and out of this room like a, like a bumblebee on amphetamines or something. It's annoying the hell out of me. 
Oh, God. It's the neighbour's fault. It's the neighbour's fault. My mum is one of those women who comes alive with controversy, who like who feeds off of gossip. It's repulsive. She's all vibrant and buzzing at the moment. Um, yeah, the neighbour's just, like, she's lost her her stuff out the back at the moment. Sucked my head out there a minute ago, and it is crazy. It is dark, the stuff. She's literally shouting it. Um, I, I can't record that. I can't broadcast what she's saying. It is it's disgraceful, quite frankly. She's screaming what can only be described like a, a religiously inspired um, rant against um, certain races. And um, it's very homophobic as well, some of the stuff she's saying, incredibly so. Uh, I don't know why. I don't know who she's addressing this to. As far as I know, all of my neighbours are white and they're straight. I don't know if it's aimed at one of us or whether she's shouting at God or praying. Well, it's not a prayer. It's just disgraceful. Great. Can I not just have a normal life? Like, finally start to get the little meme monkey sorted out. And now it's just filled with mentalness. I'm getting fed up with this. It's about 10 to 8 now, and she seems to have gone all quiet. I don't know whether she's going to shout herself out, lost her voice, or uh, maybe she's just kind of exhausted herself, you know, all took it out now. Um, but um, I thought I'd do a little kind of vlog part, because uh, it is shredded week time for me. Um, a lot of people are always asking me for diet tips, you know, person the biggest stature and stuff, how do I maintain it? Uh, you're just asking for more details. So a regular feature of my life is shredded week time of an evening. Um, normally it would be a bit later than now, probably 10 o'clock or so. Uh, but because I had a Sunday dinner earlier in the afternoon, I'm actually hungry now. Um, I like to make it a habit to have at least two full size shredded wheat. None of these bite size um, rubbish. Bite size is um, for kind of beaters and millennials and stuff. You want a full on break of shredded wheat, two of them at least. Now, I've actually been denied my shredded wheat for the last few days. Uh, did an online shop recently um, and I decided to go a bit adventurous ordering the sugar. Uh, I got some sugar cubes because I thought that's going to be easy, just stick them in my coffee. And I got some barista style big brown sugar crystals. Now, my mum was like, that's, that's stupid. Um, and I've actually, she's been proven right. I made a mistake and it's very, very rare for me to say that. Because neither of, you know, sugar cubes nor crystals are suitable for the shredded wheat. You want a lovely soft covering on there. I found like a brown soft musk. I always struggle with that word, muscovido, muscovado, um, musca, I don't know, muscadavado, I, I sound like a twat now, but the soft brown sugar, uh, soft covering on top of the shredded wheat, um, liberally milked prior to putting the uh, sugar on, obviously, um, don't be an animal, uh, yeah, just a tasty, really, really nutritious snack, um, yeah, good for your bowels, shredded wheat, you know, closing the title there. Uh, yeah, good talker all round. Uh, I thought I'd better give you a little bit of footage of the finished article, just in case I was unclear. Um, you'll see that the sugar is as liberal, but it's not too much. It is uh, kind of evenly spread across them. You don't want peaks and troughs. You don't want mountains of sugar. Um, some of you might think it's a little bit too much sugar. Uh, don't be falling into thinking that. Uh, the sugar is essential. Um, the shredded wheat on its own is actually quite bland and boring. It's the sugar that really makes the snack. Um, yeah, there we go. I'm going to tuck in now. Uh, actually, just to be fair to the shredded wheat, uh, I feel a little bit bad having described it as bland and boring. Um, I feel like I should do a pros list as well. Uh, it's just one pro, really. Uh, it can be left for a, a very long time and it will still be good food. Uh, the shredded wheat will part and it will become like a different kind of snack. Um, other cereals, like, I'd be freaking out right now. Like, it's going limp, it's going limp, I don't want it. You know, cornflakes, no thank you, not limp. You know, Weetabix, my God, it will have turned into a different kind of creature, congealed and grown like something out of Stranger Things. But shredded wheat stays good for, I'd say, at least 20 minutes or so. Um, limp shredded wheat is actually probably better than shredded wheat that's too crispy. Although there is a perfect sweet spot right in the middle where it's a bit crispy and a bit limp. Uh, which I think I'm probably reaching now, so I am going to go and talk in now, but I hope this has been informative for um, at least some of you. Okay, it's just gone 20 past nine, an update from Crazy Town Central, right? Out there, just playing with my guinea pigs, just socialising with them, you know, giving them little, just chocky bits of food, and, you know, just general guinea pig play, right? I hear a hiss through the hedge, right? A hiss. 
I, I'm thinking, what the hell is that? Is there a snake, like potential predator and stuff? I, I go over to the hedge and there's a, like, there's a scampered movement coming from the, cra the crazy neighbor's like, hedge, right? Well, her garden behind the hedge. And as just like, there's a door slams, but before the door slams, I distinctly heard her call me a, I don't even want to say it, like it's rude, a, a penis sucker basically, but using more kind of fruity language. Like, what does she think I'm a homosexual? Because I've got guinea pigs. There's nothing, like, gay about that. Um, uh, it's neither a gay nor straight activity. It's just literally looking after your guinea pigs. I mean, I'm not gay. I'm no homo, but I'm no homophobe. Um, but, yeah, that's quite a turn up for the books. I don't know if we're being too loud and rambunctious. I can't imagine so. They're like three little guinea pigs, you know. Um, I guess I get a bit excited when I'm cheering, when I do like good stuff. I'm trading them, basically. But yeah, that's the turn up for the books, isn't it? You don't expect to be playing with the guinea pigs and be accused of being a penis sucker by a mental lady who's hissing at you. like Kind of like a snake, kind of like a cat. Um, well, actually, 100% like a mental woman. That's probably the best way to describe it. All right, no, that's interesting. I wonder what the rest of the night's got in store for us. Surely she's got to be exhausted now. She has been on it today. You're not going to believe what's going on out in my garden. You've got to see this. Oh my God, what even was that? What even is my life at this point? So she's projecting, she's put in a garden. She's got like a projector projected onto my house and my neighbor's house. A Charlie Chaplin, I think it was, black and white movie. I think it was Charlie Chaplin. For a second, when I first went out there and saw it, I thought it was Hitler, like eight feet tall on the side of my house, Adolf Hitler. I mean, it wasn't, but I'm still not that much comforted by that fact. It's bad enough. Why? What? What? What goes through your mind to project an old black and white movie onto someone's house? How am I annoyed at? I'm just playing with my guinea pigs. I'm just going about my everyday life. What? That's so baffling. That I didn't know what to expect. Like, she'd been cycling up all day, but I did not expect her to hide in the bushes and project a 60 year old movie onto the side of my house. That's weird. That's weird. It went on for about 10 minutes and then it went off and there was a shriek and the door slammed again. <sighs> I'm definitely locking every door and window in my house tonight. I'm scared I'll wake up with like my eyes taped open and like clockwork orange or something being projected onto my bedroom ceiling. Just her face kind of peering over a little bit like Aya in that Game of Thrones bit when she's done off with all the phrase. Yeah, locking the doors. All right, good morning to you. Well, actually, it's not really a good morning. I've had a crap night's sleep. Look at the bags under my eyes. This woman is doing my head in now as if I haven't got enough to deal with recently. She's now torturing me, all right? So I go to bed about up past 11 last night, read my book for a while. Eventually I lie down, just drifting off to sleep and then suddenly slam, all right? A back door slams out there. All right? I'm thinking, God, that's very late to be slamming your door. What the hell's going on? All right? Anyway, I start to drift off again, you know, trying to let myself relax. Slam again, all right? This carries on for hours throughout the night, just little intervals where you think, oh, finally she's giving it a rest, I can finally go to sleep, slam! You're awake again, Callum, welcome to crap town. Absolute nightmare, right? Dogs, like the neighbours' dogs were barking and stuff, someone even went out there and shouted at her, well, he just shut up, right? She went quiet for a few minutes, you think it's finished, little extended interval, then slam! Again. Absolute nightmare, eventually fall asleep, I don't even know what time, and then I'm woken up at the crack of bloody dawn this morning by stuff hitting my house and my bedroom bloody window, right? Rod, like, get out of bed, like, what the hell is going on, you know, I'm dazed, confused, overly tired, right? Hear it again, so I run down out into my garden, right? Nothing to be seen apart from a load of potatoes. She's out in her garden at the crack of dawn, losing little new potatoes at my bedroom window. What? I mean, this is just mental. 
how am I meant to live in this environment? Is it not enough that I've had people doxing me and sending takeaways to my house every bloody day? You know, I've now got her ramping up again, losing potatoes at my window. Why is the universe punishing me? I feel like it's bumming me or something. Like, here you go, Callum, bend over, take a bit of this. And I'm like, no, I don't want this. And it's like, no, go on, take a bit more. Another inch here for you, Callum. I'm like, no, no, it's hurting me. Stop, stop. No, I'm going to carry on and it's going even deeper. Just grit your teeth and enjoy it. Well, I'm not bloody enjoying it. I need to sleep. Christ's sake, I've just kicked the butter off the side as well. Brilliant. All coming up, Callum, isn't it? This is not what I need. I thought we finally settled down and I could vlog again. I could maybe start streaming again after all the idiots sending stuff to my house. Ah, oh, God. Well, I guess we better... This is what we're vlogging now, isn't it? Callum's mental breakdown as his neighbour tortures him. Losing potatoes at his window. Projecting films on his house. I don't understand. I don't understand. I mean, I guess I can't understand. She's mental. That is what it is, isn't it? She's mental and it can't be understood. Apologies for my earlier outburst. Um, I'm not myself first thing in the morning when I get roken up rudely. Um, and I'm also not myself before I've had a cup of tea and breakfast. It was like the perfect storm there. Um, I guess it's more frustration than anything else. Um, it's been a while since I've been able to vlog and I've been really excited to bring them back. And I kind of envisaged something you know, it being an exciting vlog, me going on a date with a beautiful woman or to a football match or something. Um, I didn't envisage it being an angry vlog about my neighbour losing potatoes at my window first thing in the morning or projecting weird black and white movies on the side of my house at night. Um, but I guess that's that's vlogging life, isn't it? You've got to vlog what happens. Um, I'm going to leave it here because I am still really tired and I feel like I need a nap. But if anything else happens, obviously I will vlog it. Uh, if you've got some time, do go and check out my second channel. There's already a reaction video up there. Uh, me watching and vomiting pretty much to hair cake. And I'm going to be uploading on there very shortly a review of YouTubers adverts that they've um, starred in. Uh, that's going to be a massive bag of arse. Um, and also, don't forget, the Discord is active now as well. So I'll leave the link in the description. Um, if you enjoyed the video, please do leave a like. If you didn't, please do leave a dislike. And yeah, thanks for watching.